This is a jack I bought at Puller Parts some years ago. I just thought it was cool to have a bumper jack. No, I didn't buy it just because of that. All right, Tube Black here. And I have a locksmith outside making a key to my Volkswagen Golf. He's supposed to charge me 160 bucks. And he's using, damn, he got the windows down. You got the one that's come down. I'm also recharging the battery. Uh, I don't think it's too good because this, can, for it to be completely dead and is at 50% already, that lets me know that some of the cells are bad, some of the cells are good. Because some of the cells are good, it's building up quick, but most likely it's gonna, it's building up too quick. So that lets me know it's probably a bad battery. But before I go buy a new one, I want to charge this one. And um, you know, see what's up with it. The engine doesn't really look so bad when you take this cover off. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I don't know if I tell you guys or not. I found a, I think it's a crankshaft position sensor. This was inside of a box. This is like the old one. So they, um, I'm sure they changed one. Ooh, look at all the spider webs in there. Anywho, I guess I saw the video when he's done. All right, guys, here we go. This does not work. I mean, it turns it, but it's not hooked up inside. I can't blame that on him. It would not go in back here as far as it'll go. I tried putting WD-40 in there a couple times. There is no keyhole on the passenger side, but it does turn the switch. It does turn the switch. And this sucker has 185,000 miles. I don't wonder how many miles is on it. Well, anyway, I'm going to get a bat. I'm going to get a, um, what do you call it? Caliper for my Ford. I ordered one. So I'm going to get one of those. And I may stop by. Well, I'm going to see with this battery charge. This battery is probably no good. But before I spend $150 for a Volkswagen battery, because that's what they cost. I'm gonna go to Walmart, see can I get another one of those $50 batteries. It'll last a year. I don't know, I might do that or I might go, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I gotta use the restroom. All right guys, it has been some hours and the battery is 50%. I got home about 10 so 11 12 1 2 3 4 so what's that like five hours charging let's see can i get the damn thing to start i tried to crank the car with this battery and it just clicked so at least i know the guy made the key correctly 
So what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and bought a brand new battery from the Volkswagen dealership. So I'm gonna take this battery out and put that battery in. And I'm gonna keep recharging this battery. It might come to life, but I'm not gonna wait on it. So I see a problem already. It might be the reason why it don't want to crank. But that's all the positive we have. So I have to change this crazy looking uh, battery in here. First, I gotta get the damn thing to come off. This bolt is frozen and it wants to spin on me. There we go. Kinda remind me of four. Yeah, I gotta put another end on that. All right guys, I got the battery in. Now I'm gonna try to put this screw in here. Hold down the battery. All right, let's see. And what I do with the 13 millimeter. Okay, I got the battery in there secure, so now I got to hook up the wires. Oop, this messed up. And the other battery was on this side. I think I did get the wrong battery. Oh well. All right guys, you ever go to the parts store and you see something that looks like, you ever see something that's on the shelf and it says $4.99? You look at it and you're like, that is not gonna be $4.99. This is one, $13. It's the only one they have, so I went ahead and bought it. Hopefully it'll work. may be a good thing because it looks like it used some special for the Allen wrenches and you put the holes, I mean the, the cable up in there. So it might work, work out pretty good. Nope, that's not going to work. I mean, I got some Allen wrenches in here somewhere. Yeah, I'll be doing it. That works. And I'm gonna need a pair of pliers to, and a pair of snips to cut my pin. You don't want to get crumbs with your freaking um. Things. Oh, by the way, this broke the last time I tried to start the car. It broke on its own. Okay, so I'm probably gonna need some. Trying to doggone battery in. I can't remember when.
Oh, I need to get my dog on pliers. I mean, my, my um, and this cable is bad. Do this with my hand because I got a feel I'm gonna stick myself. I don't think this is gonna fit in there. Cables are actually the way it's um, actually corroded pretty bad. I need another cable. Back is starting to hurt. Okay. I'll get a flat history, bro. They gotta make it super duper hard to expand. You know what? I'm gonna cut this off and stick it in there like that. Sticking trimmers. Old school people don't. Ouch. This, that's right, guys. It stuck me. a little bit deeper than that. Might actually be a pretty good idea. I just made it so doggone big.
sure enough. What is on? That thing is on. I'll get something to knock that down. They say don't ever hit on a brand new battery. So I'm gonna try this screwdriver, see can I get it to expand. Nope. So I'm gonna do what they say don't do. And that's hit on your new battery. what it ain't even tight and it's still tight it's not even tight but it's tight so let's see where the crank now pretty nice car ain't it I put this wood here cause my back itched the last time I got in here <coughs> Uh, the motor is locked up, y'all. Yep. The motor's locked up. I'll be damned. So how do I know the motor's locked up? That explain why it, um, it wouldn't roll in gear. How do you tell when the engine is locked up? When you put the manual transmission in fourth gear and you're able to do this and the motor does not turn. The motor's locked up, guys. Black, y'all have a good day.